Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the recent Caspa network attack, currently known as a dust attack, and also showing you guys how you can update your nodes so that your nodes can respond to this attack and start rejecting the transactions that are spamming the network. So let's go ahead and take a look at cas.fyi. You can see that currently right now, they're trying to update the website because all of these transactions that are being put into the system is not able to be held on the website. So currently this needs to be updated. And also if we're looking at the block explorer for Caspa, you're gonna be able to see where this attack is happening from and it's a spam attack. And you can see there's a lot of 0 0.00001 cast transactions that keep appearing on the network. I'm currently running my node. And if we take a look at my node that I am running right here, you could see that I'm rejecting a lot of spam transactions with my node right now. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually do that yourself and give you all the insights to this attack. So Shy over here says, cast node operators, especially mining nodes, please update your node to the following version as soon as possible. Please contact any miner or pool operator you know and make sure their nodes are updated. During the last few hours, our network faced a dust attack. This attack exploits the low fees to spam the UTXO set. In the short term, a dust attack is mostly an annoyance, but in the long term, it increases the storage requirements. To counter the attack, Ori Newman and myself put together a measure to greatly increase its cost from a few cents to more than $10,000 a day in terms of minor fees. The fees will not increase for typical transactions, except in an uncommon scenario we described below. We stress that this is not a fork, blocks created by patch, nodes are still considered valid by unpatched nodes. The changes are only to the transaction gossip rules and block creation rules. Consequentially, the effectiveness of the measure is directly proportional to the fraction of miners in terms of hash rate who updated their nodes. However, non-mining nodes should also update to avoid propagating adversarial transactions. It has been about four hours since the patch was released and already about 30% of the miners updated the nodes. This is good progress, but we can do better. The sooner we get mining nodes to update their nodes, the better. And if we also look at this tweet, you can see that the dust attack on cast started 18 hours ago. The patch, which are in mind is not a fork, was released 10 hours ago. By now, the breadth of the attack and all future dust attacks has decreased by 90%. Hopefully we will say 99% by tomorrow morning. So this currently came out 11.31 a.m. Eastern time today. So already 90% of the spam attack has been decreased but we still need everyone to hopefully come to consensus and update their nodes. So if you don't already know, you can run a node for Caspa absolutely free by simply downloading the KDX wallet to your computer if you do have a computer. Downloading this allows you to access a wallet with the app and also run your own node. To download the patch so that you can start rejecting these spam transactions, you simply have to go to this link, which is on GitHub. I'm gonna have the link down below in the description. You can click it. And then once you're here, you're gonna to wanna to download the CastPad anti-spam patch seven windows dot zip. You wanna download this one right here. Once you do download this to your computer, you're gonna to want to unzip the file and put it into a new file. And you can see here that this is the file that I downloaded from GitHub. And then I extract it all into a new file called KDX patch. And this is what you're gonna see in the KDX patch folder. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your local disk, and then you wanna go into program files, then look for Caspa, KDX, and then the bin folder. And when you're in the bin folder, click Windows 64. And this is where you're gonna to want to copy and paste everything that you just put in this new folder over here, you're just gonna to wanna to copy and then paste it in to this over here and click to replace the files because it is replacing the old files with the new files, which will then patch the issue that is going on right now. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to start up your KDX. 
And if you've never done this before, this will take some time. You can currently see right now, I've been running it for about an hour and 48 minutes. It didn't fully 100% DAG sync until about an hour and a half of waiting for it to go through. So if you've never done this before, once you open KDX, you should go to settings and make sure you tick on the advanced settings. This allows you to get into the cast pad right here and start seeing all the information here like this. And you'll start seeing percentages and whatnot increasing all the way up to 100% because it's trying to sync to the network. And once it's fully completed, which could take up to about an hour and a half, it did for me, it just depends on your hardware. Eventually, you will start seeing that now it's accepting blocks and also rejecting a lot of blocks because currently the attacker is still making a lot of transactions that need to be rejected so that's pretty much how you update your kdx wallet and also if you want to know for sure you're on the update this right here should say version 0.12.14 if it says 0.12.13 you're still on the old version Lastly, I just want to talk about the fact of how common this actually is. Someone asked, is this something that happens with other larger networks? And we could see here that in the past, this has happened to Bitcoin back in 2015. This has also happened to Ethereum in 2017 and Litecoin back in 2018. So if you think that this is a problem for Casper, this is actually pretty much very normal thing to happen in proof of work protocols and networks uh they eventually get attacked of some sort and a patch needs to be made and as long as all the nodes are in consensus and we all agree to update our nodes we just update our nodes and we move on and the network continues the good thing about this is while this is happening the casper network really didn't slow down that much it really just put a lot of stress on the nodes and like currently my kdx wallet is having to hold about 22 gigabytes of storage which you can see right here before this spam attack it was holding about like five to eight gigabytes only so definitely this attack has increased the storage capacity that you need so that this could be running but as long as we are patching this out now it's going to prevent this from becoming way worse in the future we don't want nodes to require a lot more space because then that would require nodes to be needing a lot more higher priced hardware which will be a more barrier of entry and decrease decentralization so this patch was really really quick they did a good job i remember right when someone mentioned it in the discord the devs were pretty much in there within 30 minutes already trying to find a solution working all night last night so really good for the castle network uh, this really doesn't mean anything for you who are just holding. This is just something that does happen with networks and Casper actually is handling it really, really well. I also want to quickly mention if you need any type of assistance, you can definitely join the Casper official Discord to get assistance with other hardware that you may be using because I know not everyone uses a Windows computer like myself. There are the other zip files for OS X and Linux. So if you are using any of those other hardwares, you can definitely join the Discord and ask questions if you do need assistance with those. But if you are trying to patch this, I am assuming that you pretty much have a, a good understanding with how to do this. But if you do need more assistance, definitely check out the official Casper Discord for more help. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take a look down below at different links to my Patreon, different wallets that you could possibly store your Casper and keep it secured and safe online. I really appreciate you guys for all the support you guys give me. If you like my videos, you watch them all the way to the end. Any of that kind of stuff supports my channel and supports me for making this content for you. So thank you so much for all the support. And as always, don't be average, be different.